I'm Miss Barb and I work here at the library. I usually work with the adults, but today I decided it would be a good time to read a story to the children. So our book this morning is called Tar Beach and it's by a woman named Faith Ringgold. Now Faith was born in a, in a um, town called Harlem, which is part of New York City, which is a really big city and they, they live in a, a, a way that you might not have ever um, thought about living. When you go to the beach, what do you think of? Do you think of lying out on the sand? Do you think of swimming? Do you think of, of um, um, putting on sunscreen and everything? Well, those are, those are very good images of what it is to be on a beach. In her story, the beach is called Tar Beach because in Harlem, many of the big buildings have a roof that is covered with tar paper. And so that's where the children would go in the, in the summertime to lie out on the roof and to just enjoy family time. One other thing, this um, story was originally made as a quilt. So this is a quilt. It has the words to the story around the quilt. It also has a picture of, see the children lying out on the, on the blanket on, the, on Tar Beach, their family. And in the background, you can see the George Washington Bridge which we're going to learn a little bit about in this story. So with that, let's begin to read our story by Faith Ringel, and it's called Tar Beach. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. I could see out our tiny rooftop with Mommy and Daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey our next door neighbors still playing cards as if nothing was going on. But, and Bibi, my baby brother, lying real still on the mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking through the sky. Look at her sailing. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical. Lying on the roof in the night with the stars and the skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich, like I owned all that I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. Daddy said that the George Washington Bridge is the longest and the most beautiful bridge in the whole world, and that it opened in 1931 on the very day I was born. Daddy worked on that bridge, hoisting cables. Since then, I've wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have claimed it. All I had to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant necklace, diamond necklace. I can wear it like a giant diamond necklace or just fly above it and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes fly, me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old and in the third grade and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of my life. Daddy took me to see the new union building he is working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and that fall, they call him the cat. But still, he can't join the union because grandpa wasn't a member. Well, daddy is going to own that building because I'm gonna fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter that he's not in the, their old union or whether he's colored or half-breed Indian, like they say. He'll be rich and won't have to stand on 24 story high girders and look down. He can look at his building going up. And mommy won't cry all winter when he goes to look for work and doesn't come home. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey. And we, will, and we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure we do. Tonight, we're going up to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken and Daddy will bring home a watermelon. 
Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring the beer and their old green card table. And then the stars will fall around me and I will fly to the Union Building. I'll take Bibi with me. He has threatened to tell Mommy and Daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him it's very easy. Anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying amongst the stars. And there's a picture of the quilt. The end.